with you. All new at six now, a former Hillsborough County school teacher and band director will spend the next four years in prison. He will also be listed as a sex offender for the rest of his life after pleading guilty to sexually assaulting one of his former students. It happened from 2017 to 2018. ABC Action News reporter JJ Burton is looking into this case and what the victim told the court about her abuser. Due to the coronavirus, Jason Algar's sentencing was on Zoom. We got this video from a viewer. We're not showing or naming the victim. She finally got her chance to tell Algar and the court exactly how his actions impacted her life. In a statement she wrote in part, because of the perpetrator's crimes, my life has forever been altered. My hope has been obliterated. My identity shattered and my entire foundation for my life has crumbled down. She said in 2017, he started abusing her sexually and physically and even started stalking her. The victim told the court Algar knew she was suffering from depression and she said he used that and her faith to earn her trust. She wrote, he befriended me as a Christian mentor and then isolated me. He said he was my only real friend and said he was the only one who understood me. There's a whole faith element involved in that and then the whole twisting of religion and scripture to sort of normalize the kind of deviant dysfunction that takes place in these kinds of assaults. Eugene Rosenquist is a member of the group Survivors Network of those abused by priests, also known as Florida Snap. He says the person who abused him as a kid used the same tactics that Algar used to get close to his victim. Battery acid that's thrown onto your faith. Uh, you know, it's corrosive and it's um, confusing. And you go into that expecting trust and guidance and, you know, and, 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 and good intentions. And then it and then it gets all um, preyed upon. Rosenquist never got justice, but he was pleased to find out that the woman Algar admitted to abusing did get justice, even though he doesn't believe it's enough. It's always, you know, kind of difficult. By pleading guilty, Algar will not get the full 30 year prison sentence. Instead, he will spend four years in prison and 10 years on probation. But these types of sentences by the states, you know, basically says to survivors, and to the public that these assaults are, are really no big deal, you know, just a part of life. We reached out to the state attorney's office to ask them about the plea deal. Uh, they say the deal guarantees prison time and he'll spend the rest of his life on the sex offender list. JJ Burton, ABC, Action News.